Good evening everybody. It's half past six on this Sunday evening and I noticed this morning it was much darker getting up so I'm going to have to set my alarm now because I normally get up with the light in the morning but as the days grow shorter I will have to set my alarm and make sure that I'm up before the light It's been a bit of a rainy day here and quite windy, though I have been out for a lovely big long walk with Jack. Took him down to Kilronan Castle and he had a good old run on the road there, on the tarmac road. And that of course helps his claws because his little nails get quite long. And he's very sensitive, he doesn't like having them cut. Um, and I have tried taking him to places before and he gets very upset. So um, I find that by running him on gravel or on a hard surface or tarmac, you know, it just helps to keep those nails down. Never used to have this problem with um, any of my furry friends when I lived in London because, of course, it was all pavements and you could take them out for walks and their nails took care of themselves. So anyway, I'm here in the lodge and you can see I've got the stove lit. I'll just close the door now because it's a wee bit chilly. It's a wee bit chilly. And um, it's just been a quiet kind of a day. Quiet sort of a Sunday. I'll sit down in this wee chair here. There we go. No, don't look at that clock up there because the battery has come out of it. But that looks lovely now, that nice wee stove. And I have a little bit of wood down there, a few wee twigs, and a wee bit of turf or peat in the basket. Now some of you were asking me what, um, what turf was. Because turf, of course, in America would be... Um, um, sort of squares of grass, you know, the grass that you'd put down in the lawn. Turf here in Ireland is um, is what you cut out of the bog. It's like a very thick, dense... Oh look, there's a little girl come to join me. Hello, sweetie pie. Hello, darling. She's been asleep on the sofa in the sitting room for most of today. She's going to go out through my little... There's a little cat flap there. No, she's going to have wee peep out instead. Um, so turf is what you is what you cut on the bog. It's, um, it's like a very deep brown, almost black, compressed, acidic soil that's been created from layers of mosses and heather and um, it's very wet, it's very very wet and it holds a lot of water and um, you can you can cut it um, with a certain kind of a spade that's called a slain and um, so when you cut it, let me just see if I've got a piece here that I can show you here we go, here we go so this is a piece of uh, turf. There you go, look, see? So, you see it's got a wee bit of a bend in it. That's because it was very wet when um, it was stood up to dry. So what you do is you cut out um, loads, of, uh, loads of slices like that. They're like little cakes, like little loaves. And then you stand them up. It's called a rick. So it's a little bit like a wee teepee that you make out of all the bits standing up and then the um, the wind will blow through that and, uh, and and the heat of the sun and well mostly the warm air anyway, the hot air during the summer will dry that out. And as a consequence then um, you can bring it home and store it and then you can burn it on the stove. And that gives out quite a good heat. So um, this year I've got some turf. Now last year I burned 
Allwood and the year before Allwood. So this year now I have some turf. So I do try to rotate it a little bit. Um, but I will obviously have wood as well to burn this year because I have a lot to bring in from the land. So, um, and also to explain that there's two kinds of bogs. There is um, a raised bog and a blanket bog. And uh, the raised bogs in general are protected. So they're protected because they're of a great deal of importance to the environment. The blanket bog, it just continues to grow. It grows and grows and grows. And uh, you've seen the way that the moss grows here. Well, if I didn't pick the moss off the driveway, <laughs> the driveway would be absolutely covered in moss. Or um, if the sun didn't dry it out and... Uh, uh, allow it to be kind of you know killed off a little bit then there would be a problem the moss grows and actually covers stones to several inches thick and deep um, and that's precisely how um, the, re the, the, the blanket bogs will grow because the moss grows just like blankets and then um, you'll find lots and lots of little plants will grow in between and uh, of course they're very wet so you have all the moisture there as well which is imperative so that's just excuse me for yawning but I was up quite late last night listening to all the reports about Hurricane Irma and uh, so that was quite Quite worrying, I suppose. Of course, the real storm is, is hitting today. So we shall see what happens later on. I hope it's not too bad in a way. I shall certainly go to bed early tonight. Now, um... Well, I'm thinking, I want to give a big shout out and thanks, thanks indeed to Denise Macken. Um, Denise, thank you so much. You are a friend indeed. Um, I've also got a few new, uh, I think two new subscribers on Patreon. And I've got to collate all those names because um, I want to make a point actually of saying thank you to all those who have um, made ongoing donations via Patreon. Now, I suppose I sound a little bit tired as well. I know I certainly am. And uh, I was thinking today as well, you know, about all the... all the pets. All the pets during that storm. Because even if the... even if, you know, pets are with their owners, which I certainly hope and pray they all are, I know from my own experience here with Jack that he gets very, very upset when there's a thunderstorm. He gets really upset and vexed and um, um, I feel dreadful for him, you know, at those times. Because you can't really comfort them. Um, they just keep getting, getting more and more anxious, you know, with... Um, with the ongoing storms. But I suppose on the brighter side, look, this will be over. This will all be over soon. And, you know, it's brought a lot of people together. It's brought out the best in people. And that's the long and short of it. This dreadful, dreadful event and what happened in Houston um, and Texas has brought out the best in people. 
So that's a good outcome. I know there's rebuilding to do and I know there's a lot of people, you know, who haven't got insurance and... But as the governor of Florida said, life is more important. And I agree with him there. So on that note, I think what I'll do is I'll put the kettle on top of the stove and boil it. And I might make a little cup of coffee. Because I can't stop yawning. <laughs> just goes to show what a creature of habit that I am. I'm normally in bed around 10, 30, 11 o'clock every night and to stay up into the wee small hours is like a mighty task for me. <laughs> anyway, blessings to all. And may everybody stay safe, and especially all those little doggies. Let them stay safe, because the poor creatures don't know what's happening. And that makes it worse. Yeah. And you know something, Jack? I might just go and get a, that, one of those packets of biscuits that Dwayne has posted to you. Yes. And let you have at least... At least a handful. Yeah. I know Dwayne says to give you one at a time. But look at, come on. No, one at a time. No, I think it has to be a handful at least. Should we go, Jack? Should we go? Come on then. Go. Bye everyone and blessings.